those are projects that you do, you know, at the beginning of the year, and it's a group project, and you're working with your group to find a solution to a problem, and it can be a really broad problem. You know, I think we had one, how do we create less waste in the world? That was a really great experience, just learning how to work with a group and learning how to go through the process of solving a problem, even if it's a really broad one. So design thinking is a big deal now. When Metro started, design thinking was not something that was so quite so commonplace, right? The engineering design process, this idea of having problems that you looked at and came up with solutions was something that engineers did, but it wasn't necessarily common vernacular. And which I think is so interesting because I think that makes Metro's founders very ahead of their time in so many ways. So design challenges really are this, this opportunity for students to look at an existing issue in the world and to work to see it with an empathy lens and perspective to try to understand why it's a problem and then to work through a process or a cycle, whatever you want to call it, around design thinking to come up with a meaningful solution. Right, so just kind of in and of itself, that process is fantastic and again, a really helpful life skill. Here's an issue, how do I get to a solution, right? So I think that that's one of the pieces of design thinking and design processes that are that's really, really valuable. So there, there are a lot of reasons that we want, we push design challenges. So there's, I mean, there's, we can go on for days about the academic reasons, but there's also a deeper reason, you know, the, the personal, reasons. Do we want to teach students and give them an opportunity uh, to understand what it means to invest and empathize with their own communities? The benefit of students doing design challenges is that over the years they have rehearsed being active and they've re rehearsed being engaged in problems they see in the world. And I think so many times when young people or older people <laughs> go through life never having had to step out and do something, you know, it, 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 you can be comfortable watching things happen in your world. But, you know, hopefully through this process, uh, you know, our students have practiced engaging and addressing the problems of their, their, their community often enough that it doesn't feel like it's stepping outside the box. It actually feels normal to them.